welcome back to another video. So in the last video, I got all the crossbars made. I got the holes in the siding drilled and the angle iron cut to length and welded on. And then I was able to mock it up and mount it onto the Forerunner. I didn't show you the mounting stuff because that's gonna be for this video. So today I got everything cleaned up. Well, almost all the way cleaned up. So show you what I got going on here. So I got the rack pulled apart and laid out on cardboard. I just went through and sanded it all with uh, some 220 sandpaper. And now I'm going to blow it off with the air compressor and then wipe it down with some acetone to get all the oil off. Uh, this isn't like traditional acetone, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. So it says it cleans off oil-based paints. Yeah, it removes latex and oil-based paints or brushes and tools. So should do a pretty good job cleaning all the oil and residue or whatever else was left on the metal to get it nice and clean for some primer and then i figured while i'm painting i'm gonna do the front bumper so i'm gonna paint this a semi-gloss black along with the rack got the blinkers pulled off and sanded that also with some 220 cleaned it all up and uh we're gonna hit that with some primer today not sure if I'm gonna get to the black paint for all of this today, but I would like to get it all primed and let it dry for a day or so. Um, as for the primer that I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna use this Rust-Oleum. So it's just Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. So I got two cans of this, should be enough. And then uh, I gotta go get some black semi-gloss paint to finish that up. I'll show you a look at the mounting hardware really quick just while I'm here. So the way I'm doing this is this just has the factory rails that go not the full length of the roof, but the majority of it. And I went and bought these grade eight bolts. They are six millimeter grade eight bolts. Um, these ones I did not have to trim. They fit perfect. Those ones I did. So basically have these little aluminum sliders in there. Those will screw in tight. And then I just kind of use the washers to, uh, to space them. So I don't have to cut the bolts to the exact length. Uh, because in the end, these are going to be covered up by the rooftop tent. So I don't really care what, what it looks like on the top necessarily, but I will have three mounting points on each side. And for the crossbars, I just drilled holes where the mounting hardware goes through. And then uh, since the roof, the tracks are kind of, they're not level, they're at an angle. The bolts kind of come out at an angle. So what I ended up doing was drilling the top hole the same size as the bolt so that it fit good. And then the bottom, I used a step bit, step the hole up a couple sizes until that bolt could fit in there nice. So we're gonna get to cleaning these. So I'm gonna blow them off the air compressor first, wipe them with the acetone, and then we'll start uh, spraying them. So same with the front bumper. Put the place up.
right, so I got everything flipped and primered on the other side. So I just gotta let it dry now. Looks pretty good. Crossbars came out good. It's actually pretty warm out today, so everything's dry and nice. And then I got the front bumper primered also. So I wiped that down with acetone and um, sandpaper so that it sticks and it came out pretty nice. And then I decided to take the rear trim pieces off and paint those as well. So I, did, I just did a gloss black on those. Those uh, look pretty good. These take a little while to dry since it's gloss, but uh, those go over the back over the back wheel. So right here, I did these ones black a while back and they're a little dirty with mud right now, but they came out pretty nice. I like the look of it. So everything is painted and drying. Uh, I think the primer says to let it sit for 24 hours. So that's what we're gonna do. Or it says 48 hours, but it's pretty warm today and it's already it's already pretty dry. So I think if I let it sit for the rest of today and then I can paint the black tomorrow and uh, it should come out pretty good. So with the trim pieces, uh, they had a little rubber, uh, rubber piece on there and all of them were pretty much cracked and like breaking off. So I just took a razor blade and sliced all the rubber off and they come out pretty clean like that. So then uh, once, once I get the pieces painted for the roof rack, I bought some of this stuff. It's just like little eighth inch U channel. I got it at AutoZone, it wasn't too much. It's got like a glue adhesive in there. So I already cut these to length and then I got this neoprene tape. I already cut those to length as well. So that neoprene tape will stick in this drip tray right here all the way down. The U-channel will go on the bottom part of the siding. So right here all the way down and that will give me a good cushion in between the metal and the paint, uh, which I'm not too worried about the paint getting scratched because it's already pretty scratched, but I don't want it to just continue to rub on there and flake the paint off and then rust. So that should uh, handle that. Okay, so it's the next day. Everything dried up pretty nice. I let it sit overnight. So bumper turned out pretty good. Got the blinkers and the license plate put back on it. Crossbars came out pretty good, pretty clean. The only thing is I gotta do one more coat on the siding because it came out a little streaky and I wanna try to get the paint to look a little better. So what I did was took some sandpaper and sanded it all, wiped it down with a damp cloth so it's all clean. And I'm gonna reshoot these for one final coat and hopefully that gets rid of the streakiness. But I'm gonna paint that. Should take like five hours to dry probably, and then I can start to assemble it and get it on the Forerunner today. Yesterday, I got my new blinker wired on. The wires are a little long, but uh, I figured better too long than too short. So, and plus these tuck up under the bumper anyways. So I just got this plug and harness off of Amazon. They sent me two of them, it was like 10 bucks. And it came with the butt connectors and everything. So not too bad, got that wired on and then I'm probably gonna throw the bumper on, so we'll do that right now.
All right, got the rack up there. It's all, all the bolts are finger tight right now. Just because I gotta do a little bit more adjustment before I tighten them down. And then I ran this stuff kind of long so I could just cut it. Once I get this all mounted and sucked down to where it's gonna go, I'll just trim off the excess pieces. But looks pretty good so far. So now I'll just get it square, basically from here to the edge of this. Same on that side. I'm gonna finish tightening all this stuff up and then we'll do the mounting hardware. got it to where it's relatively even. It's where I want it. Basically just goes through the crossbar into the track and threads in like that. So just like that. I didn't have to cut these ones. I was able to use these but I did have to cut these ones because the roof is at a angle. So these ones are a little shorter. It's all gonna be a little different because the height is what gonna determine. I wanted mine pretty low profile because I'm gonna have this tent on top and the tent sticks up pretty high. So I wanted it as low as I could so that I could get the bolts on underneath. So that's how I did that. Um, I'm gonna get the rest of these mounting hardware finger tight and then I'll go through and tighten them with a ratchet. The middle crossbar was two and five eighths. So two of those, I had to cut these. And then the fronts were two and three, the front and the back were two and three quarter. And then you just use washers to stack them accordingly. So hope that explained it. If not, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will uh, get back to you. Okay boys, roof rack is officially mounted. I might do a little more trimming on the, knee, on the neoprene tape, but I got it pretty close. Looks pretty good, I'm pretty happy. I also might do like a wind deflector down the road if it starts whistling. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Give you another look at the mounting hardware. So pretty, pretty simple. Put some Loctite on there. Let it dry, so we get to go. It's definitely sturdy, it's not gonna, I mean, if I yank on it as hard as I can, it moves the whole vehicle, so. And the factory rails that were on this, I think say 100 pounds per bar, and there was two bars, and they were plastic, with plastic knobs that mounted into these tabs. So I think having the bolts and having three of them, I think is gonna, um, be, be strong enough. I shouldn't have any issues. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Uh, I couldn't find any. There's a couple guys that sell roof racks for these, but I couldn't find any that were the Prinsu style. So I figured I'd make them because I, I like that look the best. Some of the other ones cut off like right here and you just have a bunch of wasted space if you want to do a light bar or have a wind deflector or whatever. So they cut off like right, right here and the angle doesn't really go with the windshield or anything. So I tried to get this as flowy as possible and it came out pretty close. And then also with the back, I tried to match this angle with the cab and it matched up pretty good. So um, pretty happy it's all steel so it's real strong. Definitely took a little bit of fabri fabrication skill but I mean, I made everything in my garage with a basic welder and a cutting wheel on my angle grinder. So, and a drill press. So, uh, but you totally could have hand drilled these if you wanted to. Doesn't take a lot of tools necessarily. Does take some time, does take some elbow grease, but I'm a lot happier building my own because a rack like this, cost $700 or more. So I've seen them for a thousand bucks. The Prince U style and the new gen ones are like over a thousand dollars. So I think total what I have into this is probably 250 bucks. 
that's including hardware that's including paint that's including i guess this rubber stuff would be considered hardware so everything i probably around 250 bucks and i'm pretty happy with how it came out i couldn't get a good even paint with the spray can so it's a little blotchy in some spots so i'm either down the road going to take this off sand it and spray it with a spray gun or i was thinking i could get like a cool color of vinyl wrap and just do a wrap on the side i don't really care about the inside because the tent's gonna be on top and you can't see that anyways but if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing i have a lot more projects and stuff that i'm doing with this i just ordered all new suspension so that's gonna be another project. I got a Bilstein suspension kit with new coils. I wanna get new rims or maybe paint these black. We'll see where that goes. But uh, yeah, this thing's coming along. Can't wait to uh, actually take it camping. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I will see you in the next one. Put the place up.